Hello everyone, it's Kendrick from Providence Tarot. I'm coming to you with your weekly Astro Tarot Scopes for May 8th through the 14th. So I'm using the Bicycle Fire playing cards. I've had these for about 10 months and I'm now just getting, you know, more comfortable using them. And then I'm also using the Mystical Lenormand. That box has like disintegrated, honey, because so here's the cover. Okay, of the case. Um, some cards fell out from each of those decks. I'll describe those. And then I'm also going to um, describe the cards or explain the cards that are at the bottom of the deck. I'll give each sign two cards, um, one from each deck. Um, and then I will give two different interpretations for each sign. Okay. Okay, everybody, so the first card that fell out from the bicycle playing cards was the two of hearts. So some people could be making decisions in love or some people could be making, you know, some decisions or some choices based on feelings that you have. Uh, you know, this could be your understanding of some feelings that you might be uh, experiencing yourself or this could be the reflection of some feelings that someone else might be having about you or you might be having about them or it might just be a very heartfelt conversation that takes place because it is a two. It's saying there's something to be revealed here when this sharing takes place. And, um, you know, um, you know, something else will be understood from this. It's also coming from a place of fairness to you and the other person or just to you in your emotional process, right? It's almost like you might be crossing a line that was drawn once. This card that's at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with work. Some of you could be dealing with some transformations or some changes, you know, or some um, some things that might be happening in terms of your money. Uh, the Eights are talking about weaknesses and strengths. So you could be looking at where your weaknesses and your strengths are in your routine, right? Because it is uh, Sun and Virgo, which is the Eight of Pentacles, right? The Eight of Diamonds. Um, it, it really is just telling you to take a look and see what it is that you can change, what it is that you can change about what you have been doing to make it better. Okay, whatever that is for you, uh, whether it has to do with time, whether it has to do with effort, whether it has to do with money and saving, or it has to do with being consistent with something, right? Uh, for progress to be made. Here we go again with consistency within a process, right? Everyone also, the card that fell out from the mystical and Norman is the tree, right? And the tree is talking about sustenance, sustainability. It's talking about understanding how a process works for the betterment of you and everyone that's involved, right? This is physical well-being as well. Some of you guys could be dealing, you know, thinking about like, uh, your bodies, what you're putting into your bodies, you know, what you're getting out of putting into a lot of commitment um, in a process or, you know, just in processing things, you know, what it is that you eat, uh, how routinely are you working out and doing good things for your body. It's also very spiritually too, because there's a five here as well. So, you know, to, to sort of like deal with the conflicts within your life, you might be able to like Add some things that make you feel better day to day. You know what I mean? That's kind of about, you know, uh, really changing some things up and uh, doing what works and then getting rid of what doesn't work. And if there's something that does work that it can be replaced with, then doing that as well. It's about adaptability with that and committing to the adaptability, right? Rules. Also understanding that there are boundaries, right? You have to protect yourself and those boundaries that you've placed, right? for your own growth. And whatever question that you guys might have or whatever you might be concerned with, it's going to be a successful outcome. You know, so if some of you could be worried about, you know, the ability to uh, provide to a creative process, give a service to a creative process or come up with ideas, right? And uh, be able to like convey those ideas. Or if you're just trying to unlock something or if you want to really like get your foot in the door in some place, then it's kind of like, or with someone, the possibility is great. Aries, 
Your first card from the bicycle playing card deck is the 10 of wands, which is the, um, what, are, what are clubs? We call this the 10 of clubs. So this is saying that you might be feeling a little bit burdened by something. Uh, you might be feeling tired, uh, you know, physically. You just might be dealing with a lot right now. You could be, you know, just up for the challenge, right? But you might just have a lot on your plate, okay? You might even be forgetting some things. Uh, this could even be you just getting exhausted. Uh, and it's the uh, acute awareness of of how much you have taken on and you actually need to bring some relief to this some kind of way you know do something therapeutic getting a massage for your physical body because this is Saturn in Sagittarius you know what I mean working on your body in a way that makes you feel like a little bit of relief right R&R &R, rest and recover think about that the card that you got from the mystical Norman was number two clover and two is talking about choices and decisions that come from opportunities, right? Because every choice and every decision is an opportunity. This is a card of great luck, right? And you see the two ladybugs there. There are two of those, right? So this could even be talking about you partnering up with someone. You could be communicating with someone about the burdens that you guys might be sharing. Or you could just be acknowledging the completion of something and that something has to be let go because you're feeling like the pressure is just too much for you and you're taking this opportunity to sort of like clear things up with someone that could be what this two of hearts is about right and this eight of uh, diamonds here talking about you know really trying to bring a situation into feeling progressive right so there's a goal that you're actually going to make and reach Taurus, your card from the bicycle playing deck is another 10, the 10 of swords. This is the 10 of spades. Sorry, I'm trying to talk, you know, uh, playing card and not tarot. But this is the awareness that something has completed for you or something is over. It's the ruin of an idea. It's the completion of an idea. It is also, uh, this is sun and Gemini. So the sun is bringing focus to something, the truth about something. And, uh, you know, now you can kind of rest a little bit easier. You can rest assured this ending is going to bring another beginning for you. So don't worry about it. It's an opportunity. You're thinking about risk. You're also thinking about faith. And you're thinking about... Um, just the growth of a situation that you feel like you were worried about. Now you can stop worrying, okay, Taurus? Taurus, your card from the Mystical and Norman deck is the Bear. So this is a card of luck, right? It is also a card of very earthy energy. It represents a male figure possibly in your life. It could be, be a brother. It could be a father figure. It could be a husband, definitely. Um, or it could be someone that's of a mature nature. Um, you might even be seeking some kind of... Um, pleasure or comfort from this person they might be able to provide you with a sense of stability in some kind of way in terms of what's going on in your mind uh you might be feeling like tied to something and burdened by something also burdened by the mind and this person might be helping you to see that there is something else to be learned out of this something else to gain out of this and if it's not a gain it really is a learning experience Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you. Your birthday's coming up, darling. Bicycle playing cards. You got the seven of hearts. So this is talking about the inability to see clearly within a relationship. Um, this is also saying that you would like to see a positive, uh, positive progressions in terms of these feelings that you might be dealing with within a relationship but you just can't see your way out of this conflict but the thing is is that you want to make the right decision for you be fair to yourself because if you make a decision based on what someone else needs then they might have control over your emotions or you might be giving away part of yourself that will make you respond react emotionally and not necessarily in a positive way 
Think about what's for the both. Gemini, your card from the Mystical Lenormand deck is the Whips. And this talks about disagreements and arguments. So there could have been some arguments going on in terms of this Seven of Hearts here that you might be experiencing. The Sevens do relate to relationships and the Seventh House. I mean, it also is Cancer Energy. So this is the confidence to move forward with wisdom, right? And understanding what's fair to you and someone else that you might be having disagreements with. Even if you do understand that it's what's best for you or what's best for them or what's best for the contract or the agreement that you have, right? Because there's an agreement here that's gone faulty for whatever reason and you just need to see your way out of it. Cancer, your card from the bicycle playing card deck is the nine of spades. So the nines are talking about, you know, um, uh, epiphanies that may be happening, occurring with you. And you keep trying to have these ideas spark in your mind or these epiphanies happen, but you might be feeling closed in by your thoughts. It's like you can't get past your thoughts. Your thoughts are sort of like ru ruining you, running you. They are in charge. You're not letting them kind of um, dissipate. You're not giving yourself any room to let these thoughts dissipate because you're giving them more attention than they actually deserve. Some of you are spending way too much time on social media. Also, Cancer, you have the Owls as your Mystical Lenormand card. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo or some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, it could also be a Pisces, definitely, um, or some Gemini. But this is gossip. This is people talking about you, Cancer, and you could be worried about what they might be saying, right? Because this is Mars and Gemini, and it's talking about communication, and this is the Owls, which is talking about gossip, and that's communication and gossip. So is it you that's gossiping about someone, right? Or is it, you know, someone that's gossiping about you, right? So you need to really think about that as adding to the frustrations that you might be going through. Don't add more fuel to the fire, right? Your mind is already bothering you. Leo, what's your card from the Bicycle Plan Cards deck? You got the King of Spades, darling. So you could be seeing something clearly. This is double air. Okay, so it's talking about a grand perspective here, and it's coming from a mature place. This is the ability to see things clearly and make decisions, critical decisions, and thinking logically in situations that you feel or normal people might be feeling might pressure them too much. But the King of Spades is ready for that. He is ready to make good decisions, right? And he can make those decisions even though He's not letting his emotions get in the way, right? Because it's pure air, it's pure logic, it's what works, okay? And it's Aquarian, right? And Mercury is exalted here. So this is something that's happening for the best, I would say. Your card from the Mystical Lenormand deck is the Mountain. So Leo, you could be dealing with Capricorn. You could be dealing with an obstacle that surrounds a Capricorn. And also you don't understand what this obstacle that you're going through now is going to provide as in terms of clarity and retrospection and perspective, okay? And projections. This is the climb to figure something out. You are making a choice to be more aware of what it is that you feel like is the enemy, meaning it could be your struggles or it could be your codependency 
or it could just feel like you have an enemy within a Capricorn, right? And it's big, so you got to make a choice. Virgo, your card from the bicycle playing card deck is the nine of hearts. And this is a great card for you, Virgo. It's opposite you. It's Pisces, right? It's Jupiter and Pisces. But this is talking about the growth or the expansion of a feeling of something, right? And it's a card that talks about satisfaction and fulfillment and having an emotional epiphany. Like, wow, okay, maybe this is what I want. This is what I really want. You know what I mean? Or this is kind of like... You almost can have anything that you want right now if you make that wish, you know what I mean? We're still in that new moon energy. Did you make any new moon wishes? Um, the nines are also the, the nearing the completion of something. So there could be something that you're going to be satisfied with in a short while that you had hoped for, okay? That's a good thing, Virgo. Also, Virgo, from the Mystical and Norman Tarot deck or uh, uh, Fortune card deck, you got the ship, okay? So this is uh, number three, and this is talking about communication, right? So you may have communicated a wish to someone, or maybe the wish and the communication has gotten something to move forward, right? And this is talking about travel. It could be short distance travel. Um, it's also talking about expansion in a way. It's also a nine. There's a nine on this card. So it's related to the ninth house, I would think, in Sagittarius. Um, so you could be uh, growing something. Something could be changing and growing for you. And this is something that you had hoped for and that you had wished for. Uh, it could have to do with, you know, just you getting an enhancement out of your experience, right? Libra fam, I've been waiting for this moment. All right, you got the four of clubs. So this is something to celebrate, right? The fours also have to do with completion as well. Completion of something that had already been set in play that was already been being under, was under creation. Um, the fours talk about stability. It also talks about asserting something. This four of wands makes me feel, you know, Aries. It's Venus and Aries. So this could be you seeing the beauty in asserting yourself in such a way and really a standing up for yourself and maybe feeling a sense of power in that. And that is celebratory in itself. This could also have something to do with your mother. Are you celebrating Mother's Day in a different way this year? Or are you reminded to? I'm going to get to your Mystical Lenormand card, but the four is also representative of the fourth house. And your fourth house is Capricorn, and that's where Saturn and Pluto are retrograde here. So you could be asserting yourself in ways that you are appreciating, okay? Uh, here's your Mystical Lenormand card. A celebration and something in love. What's going on here, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not dating anyone. It's been a, <laughs> a while. Um, but this is talking about love. This is talking about passion. This is talking about heart. It's talking about relating. It's talking about sending and receiving. It's also talking about reflecting on an experience that it has to do with love. You could be thinking about your past partners and how you're going to assert yourself moving forward. And then it also has to do with, you know, sharing, understanding, but making choices based on who you know you are now. Right. And this these cards are very powerful in terms of like self-declaration and identity. OK, Libra, Scorpio, let's go with that eight house energy. Bicycle playing card, two of spades. This is the moon in Libra. What happened since the moon in Libra? You had two full moons in your 12th house of uh, blockages of uh, weaknesses of uh, of uh, intuitiveness. So you may have been feeling something, think something that was very strong for you, and now you're making some decisions. You're thinking about your options. You might even be weighing out your options based on you know truths. What are the truths? What are the mistruths? What are the pros? What are the cons? Uh, what are you doing? What am I doing? Uh, what is being said here? You're trying to really determine what the best choice is or what the best 
option is because you might want to still have options you just want to choose the best options it's talking about narrowing it down okay so you're narrowing something down i must have been mesmerized because i picked up your mystical and norman car and it was you number 13 the child so you could be thinking about making some choices in terms of your child you know what are your options here this could be saying that you might be feeling a little bit more playful and childlike yourself because of your child. Or you could be experiencing, you know, Mother's Day and celebrating your children just because you are a mother. This also has to do with the transformation that might be underway for you, and it might be one that's good, okay? You're committed to this, you're committed to your children, and you might actually be even thinking about having another one. Um, and that's a serious decision that you have to make that might involve someone else, Scorpio. Um, also, you're just trying to make some decisions, the best decisions for your children right now. I'm also getting that from you. Sagittarius, what's going on? Okay, you got the three of spades from the bicycle playing deck. Okay, so there's a real truth that has come into form for you that you won't be able to deny, okay? This could also be, you know, you might be walking away from something that you had hoped would create something for you. Um, and this could just be because, you know, there's something negative attached to the way that you understand this relationship to be. Uh, or maybe you are learning that something is not as balanced as you felt like it should have been. And this could be dealing with a Libra or a Capricorn or a Gemini. Or it could just be dealing with company. Sagittarius, these cards, your cards are weird. I'm feeling some weird energy. Oh, okay, work. So this was the best decision that you probably could have made walking away from whatever it was that I'm saying you're walking away from. Because you're realizing with your mind that, mm -mm, I don't like this. This isn't good for me. I feel like, you know, I'm going to do me. I'm going to I'm gonna move this over here. I'm going to create this thing that I wanted to do instead of doing that with you. I was ready to receive something from you. I was hoping that it would go this way, but it didn't go that way. And I feel like I may have learned my lesson with that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do what I originally planned on doing for myself. And I'm going to see more come from that than I probably would have if I had stayed in this. That wasn't actually truthful. Capricorn. Three of Diamonds. So you guys could be working very hard as you do. This is Mars in Capricorn. So this is an exalted energy from this Three of Diamonds. You could be working very well. You are, uh, People are appreciating what it is that you do. You're hearing that people appreciate what it is that you do. Also, you could be understanding that there's more work to do. There's a lot more work to do if you really want to have what it is that you want, okay? Because uh, with Saturn and Pluto retrograding your sign right now and you getting Mars and Capricorn, it's saying that you need to still keep up with the work that's involved, okay? And you need to really understand what's going on here so that you can apply yourself more. Your card from the Mystical and Norman deck is the anchor, okay? And this is talking about work, working on something. So you could be focused on work. You could be focused on, you know, putting the energy and the effort and the time into bringing something into form for you, right? Really use this Saturn and Pluto retrograde over the next five months to really try to achieve and build something. Even if you feel like you are attached to it and you are spending so much time to it. 
You know, it's going to take a lot of work, but you're up to it. You've got the creativity. You've got the drive. You've got the energy. It's just saying that now you need to focus on that thing so that you can actually get more done, right? Don't feel burdened by the work that it's going to take to deal with Saturn and Pluto, okay? Aquarius, please tell me you don't have a Scorpio card this week. You do. It's the King of Hearts. And this is the Scorpio Court card. Okay. Wow. Cards. So, I mean, you know, this looks like a pretty good card. This is probably you feeling, you know, emotionally uh, abundant or just satisfied. You feel emotionally mature. You feel emotionally at peace with yourself. You Or you could feel the opposite of that. You might be dealing with some deep emotions and you feel oppressed by the emotions. You yourself might be even like trying to keep the emotions bottled up so that you don't so that people don't see it come out through your communicative ways, right? Or how, you know, just kind of like seep through the cracks. You're keeping it under control, Aquarius. What's your card from the Mystical Lenormand deck? Okay, Aries energy. Moving forward, the awareness of your confidence, the awareness of what you provide, and knowing what's going to have to take uh, take, you know, leadership or take priority here. You're going to have to be a leader and understand where your priorities lie. You're going to have to really understand what it is that you're going to have to do next, okay? Because you're going to be called to act, okay? Um, this is also saying that it's going to be a good call to action and you are just going to be making some decisions and some choices to be fair to you and being able to develop these leadership skills because you might be figuring some things out in this new position that you might be in that other people are sort of relying on you. Pisces. Your card from the bicycle playing card deck is the Jack of Hearts. And this would be the Knight of Hearts. This is your card. So you could be wearing your heart on your sleeve. You should. You could be showing compassion. You probably should be. Um, I, I say shh. You should be showing your compassion to yourself too. You know what I mean? This could also be you being emotionally reactive and intimidated by your own emotions, right? You could be intimidated by what they are sort of like calling you to do. You might be feeling a responsibility based on that feeling. And you might be feeling like you need to step up to the plate of something, or you might be feeling like you need to help someone in terms of feeling better about something, Pisces. Or maybe you yourself need to feel better about something. Do it for you. Well, ain't that crazy. Because you got the moon from the Mystical and Norma card deck. And this, I love this card. And I looked at it today. This is a beautiful card. And you are ruled by the moon. Okay? Um, in astrology, I believe. In the tarot, you are. And in the tarot as well, you have moon placements. Uh, but this, you know, this is talking about cancer. You might be dealing with a cancer. You, you, you definitely need to express your emotions and you need to be receptive when you express these emotions and understand that when you express your emotions, anything can happen. So don't be overly sensitive. Also, you might need to be protecting your emotions a little bit too. Maybe you're a little bit too out there and maybe you need to just kind of like bring it in a little bit and be receptive and show your emotions, but don't give too much away at first because you want to feel safe, okay?